What's going on everyone? Mustafa's Movie Corner here! I have another update video for y'all. VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for August 4th, 2020. Today, in my update video, in total, I'm gonna be showing you... Hmm... 8 VHS's and... 12 DVDs, or actually, let me count again. Yeah, 12 DVDs and one Blu-ray. In last week ago, um, I actually did went to out of town in Newmarket and I actually went to two stores, um, Five Village and the Salvation Army Chip Store. In Five Village, um, I picked up three VHSs and four DVDs. And then from the Salvation Army Chip Store, I picked up two VHSs and also four DVDs. And then in last Friday, which the last day of July, which that being Friday, July 31st, um, I got a VHS tape from eBay and I also got a Blu-ray from Best Buy. But however, I also bought a surprise, which for those of y'all who has been looking on my community tab already, which at least, at least if y'all already know, but still a surprise, which I also bought along with the Blu-ray, which I bought from Best Buy in Friday, July 31st, which that is going to be showing at the end of the video. And plus, I also got four DVDs from eBay in Friday, July 31st, which that being last week still. And then today, um, I got a VHS tape from eBay and I also got a DVD from Amazon.com today, but if y'all like to know why and how come I didn't show it in this update video, um, go look and read my community tab to find out about the main reason why I'm not going to show. Um, I'm not going to go on detail right now. And plus, if I somehow got a VHS tape, um, it came with the um, bonus tape, which was weird, which I'm going to show this last before we hit into DVDs. Alrighty then, so um, for about for any further ado, um, actually before I can even begin, um, I'm sorry to say that I know this is going to be very hard for y'all about the way how am I going to continue all this, but again, no talking will be showing this update video. I know this is very hard about the way how I keep not doing talking, but... This is the only one I must do if hopefully if next more update videos I should do the talking but right now for this one I actually don't feel like it. I'm very sorry. This is the best decision I could do and plus because of the surprise I might as well show at the end of the video. But like for right now anyways um enough talking and without rambling on here we go. First up, I'm going to begin with those VHS tapes, showing right here. This first one is a wear tape. Yeah, that's right. I finally got the big clamshell MGM VHS tape. This one seems pretty wear, so I definitely had to get this. And as you could probably already tell, there was a sticker right over there showing the general, which it wasn't shown, so somebody put that onto the spine before I bought this, so yeah. Very happy to come to come across with this. Yeah, the sticker actually I came off easily um, when I opened up the tape. This was recorded on the Scotch VHS tape as you can see. However, this one's also wear. 
You not, do you want to know what it is? Look, look at the lid. You notice something? Yeah, there is a Scotch logo on the lid. Cool, huh? Very lucky to come across with this. I definitely had to pick this one up because this one's just to wear. And here's the MGA home video logo engraved inside the case. And here's this one too. Yep. Yep. Alrighty then. Last clamshell tape. Yeah, this movie that I mainly heard looks funny, so I definitely had to get this. I never realized until now. So, I had to get this. I'm due playing to watch some time. Whenever I have the time, of course. Recommended this hit to friends. Cottage numbers 18 out of 21. I, I'm gonna have to rewind the tape. I will after when I'm done this video. Alrighty then, and now we move on to the sleep cases. This movie is in black and white. This one has a tan or brown, I should say, um, lid as you can see. So I definitely had to get this. Print date, the 22nd week of... I believe, um, 1986 or 1996. Hmm, I'm guessing that, that the print date is the 22nd week of 1986. I could be right though, I don't know. I forgot to look it up, or actually, hmm, let me see. Hmm, it only just says on the year that this movie's from, it doesn't say what year that this tape is from on the case. It only says it only what year this movie's from. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm guessing that the print date's still the 22nd week of 1986. And as you can see, um, this was actually um my second Paramount feature as tape with the um vertical stick label. Um I actually can't remember what the first one I have, which that being still. Hmm. I don't know what it is. Oh well. This is another movie, um, this one is from 1949, renewed in 1976, and this one's the 1988 features. Um, for this little woman movie, um, this one's the, um, 1933 movie, renewed in 1960 movie, and this one's the 1985 features. Um, in case if y'all wondering right now, um, it's not particular the same. It looks different. Um, just wanted to give y'all proof right now. The print date is May 16th, 1994. And plus I did pick up, um, two little, little woman movies. I also do have the, um, 94 movie on VHS. Which I do have right there. This is the 9 4 movie from Columbia and TriStar. 
And this was distributed by Columbia Pictures. Yep. Yep, finally come across with another new line tape. And this one's actually my first new line tape with the um, vertical sticker label that I have. So, very happy to come across with this. Hmm. No print date. Alrighty then. Next features tape, got this from eBay on Friday, July 31st. I ordered this on Sunday, July 5th using my eBay box certificate code. And this one's also another wear tape, as you could probably already tell. Yeah, just the black tape be printed as you can see. Very happy with this. Print date, the seven figure two bus of bond. The case in the label says two thousand, but the tape did came out in two bus of bond. Alrighty then, and now um. This next features tape, um, I got this from eBay today, um, when I somehow got it today, um, it came with the, um, bonus tape, which was weird, which I was not expecting, which, as y'all may notice, um, y'all and I actually didn't notice this, but until now, which we'll get into that in a moment, or in a minute, I should say, but right now, let me show y'all this first. I also have this on DVD, but I decided to buy a VHS copy. Print date, the second week of 2004, even though this is a 2003 VHS. Lay print. Alright, um, now, um, for this, um, last tape, um, as I said before, um, when I somehow got this, um, I actually didn't realize it came with the bonus tape until then when I got it. And now, um, for this one, um, y'all may thinking I actually, um, got this, um, because of the blank tape that has Teletubbies episodes on it, um, because since y'all may notice, um, on my YouTube channel that I actually used to always upload Teletubbies episodes, right? Nope. Y'all wrong. This is not the blank tape with Teletubbies episodes, um, I actually did not get this. I put it in, into this GVC blank features casing like which I already have from quite some time. Look what it came with when I somehow got this tape. Look what it came. Yeah. The original 1995 features of the Lion King. I was not expecting to come across of this without a case. Um. Originally, um, I was supposed to get the, um, 2003 Platinum Edition features of this with a, um, blue tape, but I somehow ended up with this instead, but since if I do not have the actual movie, um, oh well, um, if this gets damaged, then I might as well have to buy a new copy, which I might as well have to buy, um, 
the Platinum Edition features of this would be on blue tape if this gets damaged. And there's a crack right here as you can see. Um, I might as well have to test it. I might as well have to test this tape later on sometime or maybe um, either when I'm done with this video or later I might as well have to test this tape to see if it'll play good or not. Once again if it was damaged then I'll get a new copy. The print date is January 22nd 1995. Mm, and since this tape actually doesn't have a case. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the, fil the film strip looks fine to me. Yep, it's all good. Alrighty then. And now like, that's gonna it for all of those features. And now on to the DVDs, which the, four the first four DVDs I'm gonna show, the first four, I got them from Valley Village in New Market. I have this on VHS. Yeah, I finally got two more Clifford the Big Red Dog DVDs for my collection. Um, I also have the only one which was Everyone Loves Clifford and Good Friends Good Times. But right now, I finally got two more for my collection. Um, I'm still expecting my VHS copy of Everyone Loves Clifford to come, which this took a lot longer to come, which it's going to come in very late, which... I'm not going to be too happy about that, but oh well. But I also have Team Clifford on VHS, but not Rock and Roll Clifford. But I'm due planning to buy a VHS copy of Rock and Roll Clifford sometime. So, yeah. Oh, hold on, it's cricket. Here we go. Yep, I was very happy to find this DVD at the trip store. Originally, the DVD copies of this were expensive, but luckily, I was so lucky to find this at the trip store. Very happy to come across with this. And this will definitely fit in for the summer. And I might as well have to give it a watch either later on or tomorrow or so. So, yeah. Very happy to come across with this. Alrighty then, now the next four DVDs. The next four, I got them from the Salvation Army Trip Store in New Market. Yep, I finally got another Ernest movie for my collection. And this will definitely fit in for next two months.
I do have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory on VHS, but I now have this movie, but on DVD, which I actually don't have the time to get the VHS copy of this, which, well, I know I've been wanting it, but I just don't have a proper time to get it since I was busy buying some stuff. But, oh well, at least if it's better than nothing, which I'm with the DVD copy of this instead, but... Whenever I come across the VHS copy of this, when whenever I'm at the trip store sometime or later on or next time, um, I might as well have to get it. But right now, um, I'm fine with this movie on DVD instead, as long as what matters the most. Yep, I finally got another Blues Room or Blues Clues DVD for my collection. And I believe, um, I actually do remember renting this DVD copy, um, I believe I remember renting it from either from Richmond Hill Public Library or from Blockbuster Video, um, I believe which that was years ago or back in 2007 or back in 2008. I don't know, but at least if I got my new own copy of this DVD. It came with this guide for Blue's Clues books, the insert one. On the back, it shows for all of the other Nick Jr. VHS tapes and DVDs, um, Door the Explorer and Blue's Room. Yep. Yeah. I actually remember that I used to see this show, um, years ago, which... I believe this one's pretty funnier, so I decided to get this. Um, I'm do playing to watch this or get more seasons. Um, whenever I will, might as well have to start giving this one a watch. Yeah, I really like the show, so that's why I bought this. Here's um disc one and disc two if I can if I can flip to the other way here we go here it is and disc three and Disc four, and it came with this guide. Here's like the cast list and the episodes in disc one, disc two. Disc free. And disc four. And here's the special features. Yep. Mm. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. It's on. Hmm. Well done. Here we go. Already then? Or actually, um, I might as well um move these right over here, um, just in case um if they fall. Which I don't wanna let them these DVDs fall um just to ruin my video, so I had to move them over here. But like right now anyways, um, last four DVDs, um, I got, um, these four from eBay. Or actually, um, the last four DVDs, including this one Blu-ray, I'm gonna have to show y'all, um, I got these from, or actually I got these in Friday, July 31st. Now, um, the, these last four DVDs, um, I got these four from eBay. And the last four are Veggie, are Veggie Tales DVDs. Yep, very glad to have these. Um, I actually never had any of those Veggie Tales DVDs until now. Very happy to come across with these. Um, I'm actually planning to get some more Veggie Tales stuff before I before I can even plan to do my collection video sometime. Which, if hopefully I have the time, I might as well have to increase more before the collection video. So, um, yeah. Now, um, for this one, um, I actually did use the spray for the, um, G of G Easy Pro since they were, um, fingerprint. But, since if I already tried it, um, this, however, um, did not work, like as you could see. Well, I tried wiping it off, but... It's no use to me. Hmm. I might as well have to fix it in my GFG Easy Pro soon. And about this um DVD guy right here, um, the back turns out to be um blank as nothing, so I'm not gonna show it to you all. Same thing with this next DVD. Oh, um, this DVD and this, um, um, the papers had actually cut, like, these two have been cut off, like, right, like, as you can see, right over here. Ooh, my apologies. I didn't mean to drop the DVD like this. My apologies once again, um, yeah. Um, let's see if hopefully... Nope, no crack. And yep, I actually did use the spray, um, for the GFG Easy Pro, um, for this DVD and this one. Which I did, which I did remove those fingerprints and it went good. But only except for this DVD, which it didn't went too good, which, like I said, um, I had to fix in my GFG Easy Pro machine. Yep. And as I said before, um, the back of this DVD guide, um, it was blank, which it was nothing, so I'm not gonna show it. By the way, um, for these two, um, VeggieTales DVDs, um, these two are from Warner Home Video. As you can see, yep, this next DVD. This is for more entertainment. Oh, come on, there we go. And, um, for some reason right over there, like you see, you could, well, I don't know if you could see, but 
there is actually like like right part of the there is actually like a purple circle thingy like right over there which hmm I'm not too sure if this will play or not but I'll only have to test this DVD later on sometime to see if it'll work or not but it did keep those um inserts let me show this first there's something on the back so I have to show yep and this I'm not going to go on detail on what I have. I just want to get this done. Alrighty then. Last DVD. This last one. This from Sony Wonder. And this one's from 2005. Um. Um, those three, um, VeggieTales DVDs, um, those three are from 2003, this is the only one I have from 2005. Yep. Hmm. This one seems not too bad to me, but, hmm. I don't know if I'm going to fix this or not. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to. I'm not so sure. But it still did come those inserts. It came in this booklet. Alrighty then. That's it. And here's the chapters. And the um, bonus features passport. Yep. Alrighty then. And now um, to the Blu-ray which this one I got from Best Buy in July 31st, along with the um, surprise, which we're almost there at the end of the video. But right now, let me show you this Blu-ray first. I also have the first two movies on VHS and DVD, and I also have the third movie also on DVD. Right now, I finally got this. Um, whenever I start watching this, um, I might as well have to um, give this one a watch sometime. Like, after I'm done watching those free movies, which I'll do sometime. And Will Smith doesn't appear in this movie. Along with the um another actor who doesn't appear also in this movie, which I can't remember what the, what the actor was, but I do know that Will Smith actually doesn't appear in this movie, and so is for the another actor, which, like I said, I don't know. Here's the digital HD code. Yep. Alrighty then, now you all have just reached it at the end of the video. Now it's time for the surprise I got. Well, at least if y'all already know, um, at least if y'all saw my community tab. So, um, I'm not going to bother counting by 1 to 10 or 10 to 1 since y'all already know what it is since y'all have been looking on my community tab. I'm as well show the out right now. Yep. I got this new laptop in Best Buy along with the Blu-ray. 
this Blu-ray, this, and this laptop I got from Best Buy in July 31st. Um, the another one I have, well, at least if y'all who has been numbered in back in December of last year, um, about the um old one, um, that one has not that too good. Well, although it is, which as soon as if I already open and watch videos, but whenever I leave it on while doing something, um. Whenever I come back and start playing with it, um, whenever I turn on the screen back on, um, it ran into a problem because of the virus, which, that makes the internet so slow, which, that one's not too good on me, which, I bet today, um, my dad has taken it to fix it. Hmm. Yep, and I finally got this, and plus, that's not all, because... I also used this um, for that laptop um, just to get the um, Microsoft Word and I even already used this code and I had to use this so no virus protections could happen and I, and I even already used this code also yep I had to use this bit vendor so no viruses should happen on me so yeah, basically I was looking for a laptop without the virus problems, but until then when I have found a way, um, I just used this bit fender and this Microsoft thinking to get the Microsoft Word and in order to get this that that no virus no virus problems should happen. Yep, I just already used these on my laptop. This laptop and and I bet I already used up the um, Microsoft Word, and I bet this should not have virus problems since if I already used this bit vendor. Yep, since I used these, I'm able to be fine with the laptop like this. Um, I don't know if I'll still keep the old one or not, but I'll may have to check. But really, yeah, finally got this new laptop. Alrighty then, now like anyways, um, that's it for the end of the video, um, this is a VHS DVD and Blu-ray update done for August 4th to bus 20, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and for the stuff which I'm already still expecting, and as for the VHS tape that I already ordered off of eBay, um, yesterday, which I believe... Yeah, yesterday, which I might as well list them down in the comments below. But like right now anyways, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next upload. This is Mustafa's Movie Corner, signing out.